work to we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rules. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be better together of me and mark them which walk so as he has us in his name. That you knew that you would 
make before the beginning of this world. Because you knew that was the only way. The only way for mankind to be redeemed back to the Father. We thank you. We say hallelujah for the life, the presence, everything that you have given to us freely, freely. I thank you for the ministry that you have put in this great woman and this great man of God. I thank you for the musicians who are the temperature changers, temperature changers, environment changers. Thank you for the praise team that will come forth the glory, the magnificence, the praise, the worship that you desire that is that we are supposed to do. We thank you for the signs, wonders, and miracles that you have performed already and for those that are coming. I plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ upon those members that are supposed to be in this ministry to experience the things that are happening here that you have allowed us to have happened. That the apostolic grace, wisdom, mercy go forth and bring those members that are in the
how do I be a part of that? Let the floodgates open up and let the standard of the living God take us
Hallelujah. So I praise the day, God, and I want to pray over this altar for all those who came to that fundraiser that we had on yesterday, y'all. It was, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. We had a prophet OJ making deliverance. Come on, whatever it takes. So <laughs> whatever. Thank you. 
the devil in the book of Acts. This is the hour now. So we are taking place, uh, we are taking part in the miracle, sign, and wonders. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What I heard the Holy Spirit say was to give them uh, some gospel and to confirm what you have said because we were all in the notes today. Hallelujah. We're going to teach you We're going to teach you in Bible Empowerment at 10 o'clock. Called the Healthy Church. We'll be coming the Healthy Church. And what the Holy Spirit had me to bring forth on today was He said that the Lord desires that the church, which is us, return to its existence of a healthy state. And it's different to the scripture in God in Galatians chapter 5, verses 1, 13 through 26 as well. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. In order to be a healthy church, we must operate in the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. We can't be a church of disloyalty or dishonor and holy unforgiveness. God has called us to be a church of forgiveness. A church of love, a church, hallelujah, of oneness. That's what a healthy church is all about. A healthy church receives the sinner, glory to God. When the sinner is, it's over to God. That's what else is supposed to do. Hallelujah. You got the back side of it. the back side of it. So, the healthy church helps restore the back side. So we're going to assemble ourselves together. Glory to God. We're called to, to the local assembly to work the church, to work the ministry together. Hallelujah. So we must pray together. We must study the word together. Hallelujah. So God has called us to be healthy, to be whole for his use. Oh my God. We can't be here mother and complaining and oh my God, I can't I can hear the children of Israel did. They mother and complain the whole time. When God was gonna take us to the promised land. God's gonna take us to the promised land, y'all. We can't mumble and complain and talk about one another. That fight is that ain't even the point of the healthy church. We're called to encourage one another, to build up one another. Glory to God, not tear each other down. We can't tear each other down. We have to do it God's way. We just the way of the kingdom. Glory to God. Glory to God. Kingdom citizen for the glory of God. Are you ready?
got the ball in you. Do it. Go there. Go look at me. Do it.
full of white and black attire, a knife with the king. The speaker is going to be Apostle Craig Banks. And this is sponsored, I think, yeah, by Apostle Betty White. And I forgot the name of her church, it's not on here, but it's the New Covenant. New Covenant. They're going to have this thing. The Presbyterian Church on 32nd Street. Uh, Pastor and myself and my wife, we, that we were going to attend. Um, the tickets are $40 for couples and 20 for singles, and you have to RSVP. Uh, Apostle Betty White always supports our ministry uh, during the anniversary time, so we want to make sure we support our ministry as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Motor Cade, June the 1st. I think a lot of us is going to be at EOC starting about 6 o'clock? 7. 7 o'clock. The line of time will be 6 30. So we want to, we have to pray for our city, you all. There have been so many shootings and killings in this city. Hallelujah. We don't know if they're innocent shooting, but a shooting is a shooting. Nobody should lose their life to a gun. Hallelujah. We're going to uh, participate in that motorcade this year. So all that can, let's participate. Pray around this city. Put a guard around this city. Hallelujah. This prophetic conference is the week after the motorcade. It's going to be that Thursday and Friday, I believe it is. I get those announcements later on. Anybody feel good? Amen. 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 Church is saying it's fresh work for my dad. He was in bed through the truck incident yesterday. Continue to come 